Hi friends, welcome. Today I want to share with you a cluster of photo walks. And on these photo walks, I experienced quite a bit of challenge coming across photos that were interesting to me. And to be honest, this is something that I've been struggling with a lot recently. While I'm out shooting, particularly while I'm downtown, I take photos that are not that intriguing to me or, or, I, or I don't even take photos because I don't come across situations that even intrigue me enough to pull the camera up to my eye. Uh, this is something I've been wrestling with. I assume that other people are out there that feel the same way. So this is me trying to connect with you and um, maybe we can go through that process a little bit together. I'm trying to continue to, to develop. I'm trying to um, keep my mind towards what I can do next with my photos and with these videos because I've come to think of my photos and these videos as something that comes together into one story being told my journey. So I thought it was useful to give you guys that epilogue before I spoke about the photo walks that I partook upon, Val. I went on a photo walk the other day downtown. The photo walk was a very unfruitful photo walk. I didn't spend a lot, a lot of time downtown. As I was walking around, I just didn't, I didn't feel the vibe. I didn't feel like anything interesting was happening for me. So I left downtown and I ended up making my way to the airport. There I found some really interesting evening light with planes landing. So I captured some photos of that. I'm at the airport. It is a beautiful evening. I am going to try to get some photos of planes while the sun is going down. I don't have too much time. The light is beautiful right now. I think that I can go through this gate right here and go down a walking path. If so, that would be nice. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good, good. It's a good place to uh, plane spot. Yeah, it really is. Have a good night. Yeah, you too, thank you. I just have to wait for this gate to close. Oh, forever. okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a walking path right there, right? Right, so okay. that's open to the public. Okay, very good. Oh yeah. This is one more reason why I love the Salt Lake City Airport. So I've been on the other side of this walking path, but this is my first time over here. I'm very excited because I see some potential. When the planes are landing, they come in just above the horizon line and just to the left of the sun. Balls, I was wrong. They're coming in a little too low. Maybe I can talk to air traffic control and get them to come in a little further down the runway. Oh, let me call my guy. Hey, Jim. Yeah, a little further down the runway. Oh, wow, this is interesting. Got that diamond grid from the fence. It's fun. Go focus on this little guy if I can. For this one. There we go. Okay, that shot was rad. I right, got a couple of uh, got a couple of brisk walkers coming this way. Gonna try to work them into a shot. You know I love people. Ow. Twig just went inside my leg. Sun's just dropping behind the mountain over there. Remember when I said a stick went inside my leg? I guess that actually happened. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I don't think I hit an artery. Okay, next I want to share with you another photo walk that I went on in a town south of here called Provo. You guys may remember this town from previous videos. I went to the downtown area and I experienced more disappointment. I just could not find photos. Today's been a bit of a struggle. Uh, I can't quite find what I'm looking for. It's very irritating. I'm in a mode where I just want to get one good photo to start. <laughs> I can't find it. This rooftop's quite interesting. We have some chairs, a table, a weight set. If only there was a person. I wonder if somebody lives in there. Hmm. Dude, I'm loving these rooftop lounge areas. And it would be such an interesting juxtaposition with this much older looking building with the bars on the windows and that door against this glass building. 
One photo that I came back with that I liked, however, was this photo of a man riding a bike uh, with a cane in his hand. Okay, so I leave the downtown area. I decided to go get a burger and some fries for dinner, and it was a special experience, except for the fact that they messed up my burger twice in a row. They first put cheese on it when I explicitly asked for no cheese, and then um, the second time, they did not give me a double version of the burger with two patties, right? They gave me one. Some people just strive for mediocrity. <laughs> anyway, I go from there to a park that is in the mouth of a canyon, and I was gonna capture some photos there of people doing active things. I found a van. It might be abandoned. If anybody wants to begin their van life, this might be a good place to start. We got a little bit of time before the sun goes behind the mountain. Every time I move towards the sun, it goes out of focus. Look at that. So I decided to climb this hill and I came across a scene where cyclists would come down this roadway and I wasn't sure how often they would come down this roadway, but I, when someone did, I realized, okay, they will. So I'm gonna wait here for a little bit. And also the sun was just peeking over the top of the mountain and creating um, some really interesting rays. And as the cyclists would come down this road, they would kick up dust and the sun would illuminate that dust and accentuate it. So I wanted that photo. Unfortunately, what occurred is I waited there. I got a shot of the backs of some cyclists with the desired sun effect. I waited there some more, the sun went behind the cloud and I realized that it wasn't gonna come back out again. It was gonna stay behind that cloud until it went behind the mountain. Then some cyclists came down, but the sun was already gone. This is generating perseverance in me. This is challenging me and making me into a better person. But in that moment, it's hard. They would have come two minutes earlier. That would have been the shot I wanted, but that's how photography goes sometimes. But that's remarkably irritating. You have to be patient. You have to look at it that way. You have to see the joy in the trials. You have to see the productivity in what feels like this productivity. I walked back down that hill and then I made my way to a very busy path where people will run, ride um, bicycles and boards, scooters, rocket powered rollerblades, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know if you have to have a, some sort of permit for those. <laughs> Shout out to the DMV. I would like to apply for the rocket propelled rollerblades license, please. You guys have any instructors available today? And then they say to you, no, they all died in rocket propelled rollerblade accidents. It was a very short lived program, but we learned a lot from the tests. Science progressed. Right up there with that dog that the Russians launched into space. I think his name was Laika, but I digress. Now, while I was standing there, a couple approached me. Somehow we sparked a conversation. We just started talking about photography and what I'm up to. People tend to be pretty curious about what I'm up to from time to time. I suppose it could be the fact that I have a camera with a long white lens on it, a GoPro strapped to my chest, and sometimes I have this point and shoot in my hand as well. <laughs> These conversations always end up going all sorts of different directions and I enjoy them. Uh, the work I do keeps me from having too much social engagement on a daily basis. So going on these photo walks, is, even though it's a an introverted experience actually gets me into a lot of interesting conversations with people and gives me some social time. But anyway, while we were talking, there was some commotion to the west. And I'm pretty good at customer service, I'd say. Uh, well, thanks. <laughs> um, so I, uh, What'd you scratch? My chin. Oh, your chin? Oh, okay. It's pretty deep, actually, but it's okay. You've got um, some medical stuff in our car, which is like right there. I actually have a little first aid kit. And he's got one. Yeah. Can we That'd use that? I can, I can get it. Yeah, hold on. All right. James Red to the rescue. 
Okay, I got band-aids and stuff. Nice. I don't even know what's in here. Okay. Do we need a, a little band-aid or a big band-aid? Probably a big one. Big one? Yeah, we got that guy. How's that? That do the trick. Yeah, but take pictures of me. I know you gotta get the gotta get the shot, man. Gotta get the shot. Why are you taking pictures Smile. of me right now? <laughs> so leave, so don't take it out because it's so you want to keep the bloody part, the bloody whatever, on the wound. That's all right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so don't take that off. We should wait for the blood to come out. Yeah, we should probably drive you back to our car. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Where, uh, so that is our car right there. If you guys Do you guys need it? Probably not the best thing for you to be on board. <laughs> Let me just long board like this. So, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> is that okay? If, is that alright? Oh yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. What's your name? I never even asked. I'm James. James? Cool. My name is Carson. Alright, so, good to meet you. <laughs> what was your name? Melody. Alright, James, good to meet you. We all made a bunch of friends here. This yeah. is great. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. You guys all don't know each other? No, we were over there having a random conversation. Oh, nice. You got it on camera too. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. I make YouTube videos. So. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, some loose. It's a weird evening, right? Dang, is that what happened? Did you hit the crack? And... Yeah. Mm. I didn't think about that. Did you jump? <laughs> yeah, they need to fix that. That's a little intense. That's a pretty big thing. Yeah. I, was, I, was I just looked over it. and I just went, oh, God. I was very nice all right, I'm out of here, guys. Oh, See ya. Yeah. Good to meet you. You too. Good luck. Feel better. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Do you post your photos anywhere? Yeah. If you, um, if you go to Instagram, uh -huh. look up James Red with two Ds. Red. Okay. Uh, yeah, right there. there. Right there. Looks yep, like you. Yeah, me. Cool. You want to follow you? Yeah. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool, cool man, see you around. Awesome deal. Well, yeah. Pleasure to meet you. You too. I really well. I am so happy that I had this when someone was bleeding. Young lady, I hope you're <laughs> that's weird. To the girl, I hope you're watching. I hope your chin gets better. I sincerely hope there are no infections. So then I went on another photo walk in downtown Salt Lake. Unlike the first one, uh, this one lasted much longer. I'm not That guy's angry about something. This is nice! Woo! Where the fuck is Joseph Smith at? Woo! Better than another fucking tip. You getting him on video? <laughs> yeah, I got, I got him when he's walking past me a second ago. Bath salts, dude. He's what? Bath salts. Oh, is that what it is? What would indicate that it would like be bath salts over something else? Just have you seen that before? Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah I've seen it before. I used to work for adult probation for Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's like those kids are saying he's an asshole, but to me it's just sad. Yeah, well, yeah. he's a veteran. Mm. He got into drugs. Mm -hmm. um, it turns people into assholes. We had a guy that did it one time and it took three tasers and six officers. Yeah, well, I've, I've watched plenty of those yeah, videos. Yeah, he destroyed an office. Yeah, see, uh, those people get shot and they don't go down. They just keep, yeah. keep coming at you. It's crazy. Yeah. I just think a lot of people deal with it with anger, and the only way you can deal with it usefully is with compassion. You know? Yeah, me and him had a come to Jesus talk one day, and since then we see each other, you know, like, hey, cool, we know each other. Yeah. A lot of them down here that show me a lot of respect because of the way I treat them. Mm -hmm. What was your name? Yeah, What's he that goes again? By Brooklyn. 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 All right, cool. You from New York? Yes, I am. All right, cool. I've been there. I love it. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here. All right. Good to see you guys. Have a good one. At one point, I went to a spot that was sort of in the middle of the road, but at the same time, it was a bit of a, a median, and there's a sign in front of me, so my hope was that a bus would see the yellow sign and not hit me. All right. While I was there, I was shooting down the street westward, trying to get a shot that was rather cinematic looking, utilizing the 70 200 millimeter lens to uh, generate some compression and give that cinematic look. I was really struggling. I did not get the photos that I had in my head. I did capture this one and I did capture this one. But while I was there, I noticed an interesting angle where I could put somebody on a jet black background, which is always something fun to play with. There was an alleyway, and as people came by, I captured them in front of that alleyway, achieving said effect. All right. 
All right. Okay. Okay. It's hard. It's hard to navigate the world for some people. One of the highlights of this photo walk was when I met another guy who was practicing his street photography and we got into a conversation. How's it going? So, dude, is that like for video? All right, uh, this is for videos, for photos. Trying to get some street shots of uh, like people and the trains and stuff. That's cool. For yeah. a magazine or something like that? No, just for Instagram. It's a personal project. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Nice, man. You have, oh, can I have your Instagram so I can check out? Yeah, sure, sure. How's it going? What are you, what are you up to? Uh, Nothing, yeah, nice. Everybody's doing the same thing. You just wandering around? Yeah. <laughs> You've, um, like street photography? Or? Yeah, that's what I'm trying out right now. Yeah. Very good. What's your name, man? Brandon. Okay, I'm James. Nice good to meet man. you. Hey. Elbow tap. There you wow. go. I was thinking about bringing my gun. We could have almost been twins each I know, I know. <laughs> it would have been a special time. All right, let's see here. You're getting pictures of the trains going by, right? Yeah, uh, kind of. mostly people, but if trains make it in, yeah, awesome. Yeah, good, yeah. There you go, that's me right there. I just I just went on a sailing trip. Okay, very good. Thank you, James. You got yeah. an extra one? Yeah. Brandon, that's the photography yeah. thing. All right, dude. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. Yeah, See you around. pleasure to meet you, man. Have a good one. So you live here? Uh, yeah, just moved here about three months ago. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, so really fresh. I always like to meet yeah, other people who are doing the, the same the thing. The car burning, you were there Dude, oh my gosh. <laughs> That was one of the craziest days of my life. Yeah, for Dude, sure. That was like the first protest, wasn't it? That was, um, yeah, that was, yeah, it was the one on Saturday that got really crazy. That yeah. was the worst one. Now, while we were talking, there were simultaneously a couple of photo opportunities that occurred. I like long exposure. I just got some ND filters so I can really make it happen. Uh huh. Tell me you got that the puppy. I got the puppy. <laughs> yeah, I got the puppy. Yeah. You got the guy in the window. <laughs> I mean tracks, I keep running tracks. Now with these train shots, and I wanted to emphasize this train shot, you see how the 70 to 200 millimeter can create a specific characteristic for your photos on the street. I was able to get in very tight. Okay, that is it for this one. I hope you in, enjoyed it and found it helpful. Um, I'm curious if you guys have been in the same boat as me with struggling with what your photos are, are about and where you're trying to go with things. This is something that comes and goes for me. It, it happens in different levels of intensity. I have a creative crisis all across my creative adventures uh, every so often. This is something that I think all creators deal with. The more I've interacted with creators, we all have our creative crises. Me and my wife like to joke around that we have one every, I don't know, six weeks or so. You have an existential breakdown, you don't know what you're doing, but a lot of times on the other side of that, you find a breakthrough. These struggles are meant to make you better. Be patient with them, allow yourself to go through them. Take a deep breath through your nose and because that's healthier. We as humans grow through being pushed out of our comfort zone and these internal struggles push us out of our comfort zone. That's a good thing. But anyway, that's it for this one. If you have any questions about my process, please feel free to comment below. I would be happy to engage with you there. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you, and if you liked it, hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate those things. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.